Republicans in Washington, D.C. are furious that the World, the World Health Organization said that Roundup is a probable human carcinogen. And it is, no question. So, so to get back at that organization, they want the United States to completely stop funding cancer research for the World Health Organization because they didn't say what corporate America wanted them to say. And of course, we know that corporate America runs Washington, D.C., and they particularly run the Republicans, and we're really seeing it in this case. Can you imagine? This organization is trying to help us. Right. They're trying to say, look, you know that stuff that you're using every day in your backyard? It can cause cancer. It can cause non-Hodgkin's non lymphoma. Terrible disease. Usually it's going to be fatal. Okay? So the, the World Health Organization does a, just, there's no, there's no money from either side. There's no influence from either side. It's a down-the-middle study, and they say absolutely Roundup will cause this cancer. Right. And they say that along with dozens and dozens of other studies that say, yes, this will cause cancer. And California listed it on their warning labels as, as causing cancer. I mean, so they're not out on a limb is my point. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, to actually threaten to cut off funding unless you remove the warning I mean, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's what the, the big stick of power uh, will do, that we're going to cut off the, uh, the funding uh, uh, penny to, uh, to get you guys to retract your, your opinions. Uh, I mean, amazing. It's, it's amazing, it but is. That, that is absolutely exactly what's happening. And the truth is, the World Health Organization has, they don't even have a dog in the fight. No. They're, they it's just about as objective as you yeah, get. They it's just not study. bought and paid for science. Right, they I mean, say this stuff. Look, let me tell you something. Do not use Roundup. If you have Roundup in your home, throw it away. It will cause cancer. I'll be trying a case that says that and establishes that by the first of next year, and, and, and it may be the first case that establishes Well, you know what's behind all this. The, the insecticide industry gets all organized, and they put their lobbying to get dollars together. They go to D.C. They've spent millions and millions. I think it's $4 million that Monsanto spent uh, in the last year alone in D.C. lobbying the Republicans, and they put pressure, they put money into the organization out of D.C., and then you see these kind of... Uh, uh, these kind of results out of the out of the lobby dog. There, there, Peter. There's an incredible book out. It's I, I've been having to study this ad nauseum because I'm getting ready for trial. Mm -hmm. The documents are unbelievable. I saw a document today where Monsanto actually makes a presentation, and, and in there they talk about not only does it cause cancer, but they talk about the process of how it causes cancer. Now they say, well, we didn't say that, but that's what other people are right. saying. And, and and here's the point. Shouldn't you have a choice? Absolutely. I mean, if they're not 100% sure, shouldn't you have a choice? The doctors that are looking at this are saying there's a, there's a time when it was absolutely clear mm -hmm. that any responsible company would have said, you know, we're not 100% sure, but we have enough information to lead us to believe that this stuff will cause cancer. Right. And still, the company does nothing about they it. They didn't notify the people that are using it. Yeah. It just seems fair. An interesting thing about this, the Republicans are behind the company this time, but the Democrats were behind Monsanto for so long. Hillary Clinton, of course, mm -hmm. was, their, you know, was their big cheerleader you know, on GMO and, and various things. Uh, you know, it's amazing what money will buy in Washington, D.C. Absolutely incredible.